Hi guys, welcome back to Karamiya's Corner. I am back with a new video, actually the last video for 2019. I wanted to end it a little different this year by sharing with you some of my favorite crafty projects. I'm also going to be featuring some of my favorite creative swaps with my dear snail mail friends. Last year I did something a little different, uh, did my favorite things for craft tools for 2018. So if you'd like to see that, I'll put the link in the description box below. So number one on my list, we are looking at my Valentine's Altered Binder Mail here with a shaker window, which was inspired by another crafty friend and YouTube creator here, uh, Karina Craft. So I'll put the link in the description box if you'd like to learn how to make that. I had so much fun making all these pages, trying to include as many possible interactive pockets where they could find surprises. And I think Sandra loved this. So if you'd like to see this in full and see what kind of happy mail I had sent her, make sure to check out my happy mail playlist where you will see it. So here I'm just flipping through quickly and these are video archives that I have that I'm glad I was able to keep and I can share with you as a recap. The next project I truly enjoyed making was a vintage traveler's notebook junk journal. The Traveler's Notebook format is one of my favorite ways of journalizing. You know, I like to do art journals, write my own little daily um, journal entries or whatnot. I use it also for traveling. So 2019, I was binge watching a lot of junk journal flip throughs and I picked the format that I liked the most. That's why I made a Traveler's Notebook. It was great to make some old stuff that I already have in my craft supplies. And also it was fun to um, go to thrift shops and look for old ledger papers and music sheets. So this was a super fun project. So now I'm gonna leave you to look at the rest of some of the other pages that I did make here. My next favorite crafty project was this Daiso stationary bento box. I love reusing boxes and this in this case it was a cookie tin can and I customized it for my friend Sandra. She doesn't have a Daiso so decided to create a little stationary set here. Uh, gave her a bundle of cute stationaries, notebook, made her a nice little notebook as well. This was so much fun and customizable so you can make it to your taste. The next one is a San Francisco old brochure that I used and made into a junk journal with a modern look to it. For my good friend Kat, for her birthday, I thought the size was perfect to put in her purse or backpack when she's on the go. Definitely something she can use to document her daily life, she loves to eat out and explore the city. So I thought this had a lot of pages that she could play with and document in. So let's have a look and see what the rest of the pages look like. The next favorite one I have was this little bundle of recipe cards that I made for my auntie for her birthday and it's something she can fill throughout the year with different recipes. It's an annual recipe card stack and I love using my little die cut to cut the recipe card with tabs and I was able to use a lot of different themes and seasonal uh, scrapbooking paper for this project. Another fun project I learned for 2019 was putting together these adorable little golden books. I had so much fun putting the signatures together 
and dressing up the cover. If you'd like to see a more detailed flip through of these projects, make sure to check out my playlist with the little golden book titles. Next favorite is this uh, creative swap with my crafty friend Dolly, also known as Crafty Mermaid Mom here on YouTube. We were on a roll when it came to making projects that had a vintage feel and decided to do a swap and include vintage cards and other different um, items for junk journaling. So here's a look at the cover of the Traveler's Notebook that I made for her. It has a vintage theme. I'll have it in my playlist of Happy Mail, so if you'd like to see that, make sure to do so. Here's one that I really enjoyed making as well. It's a micro traveler's notebook. I learned how to make it through my friend Joanne and made this for her for her Japan trip. It's a laminated cover. It has a little cute little notebook, perfect size to carry on your backpack or um, handbag. You'll have a little cute envelope to put your stickers or ephemera and some matted pages here for little pictures that you can print out in a cute little pocket there. Super fun. For her birthday, I made her a vintage junk journal. This was super fun to make as well using children's book pages and a variety of other old things and new. Encyclopedia pages also with the map. So I enjoyed putting all these signatures together. We have a little tuck there that you see and also um, played around with little insert cards and envelopes. I also found this wonderful image from an encyclopedia of the San Francisco streetcar. So I thought she would like that. Also include a little folder. She loves photography, so I thought she'd like this and put some journal cards for her to use. More encyclopedia pages and a textured page for pictures. Did a little seal here and some distress ink on a stationary sheet that she can journal on. This was super fun to make. I really am planning to do more of these vintage card journals very soon. So here are more pages again from The Yorker and the encyclopedia with a cute little tuck there. Little flips on the back and I love the little saying here at the back of the card, respect the classic, super fun. The next favorite thing is, for 2019 are my creative swaps. So here's one that was given to me by my dear friend Sandra. It was a Valentine swap. Check out this super adorable flip book. Super, super cute. So if you want to see that mail, make sure to check it out in my playlist of Happy Mail. This was too cute for words. I mean, look at those stickers. My dear daughter Emmy joined me for this unboxing. It was super fun to look through all these goodies with her. I love this llama sticker set, still my favorite, and all these cute little stickers as well. So make sure to check that out in my Happy Mail um, video list. This was made with so much love. Love it. Next one was Happy Mail from my dear friend Joanne. We do an annual swap and collect a number of crafty things throughout the year. And she sent this for me for my birthday. So thank you so much, Joanne. I love everything. This was really awesome to unbox again together. I think my, yeah, my daughter Emmy joined me as well. And we had so much fun just looking at all these goodies. I am constantly looking and using them slowly for journaling. She also made me these adorable pocket letters. Here's one with a Halloween theme. Super cute. I love pocket letters. I need to make more of these. She also made me a Valentine's themed one. I mean, look at those wood veneers at the top there in the center. So cute. And next, we're talking about rack mail. Now, Dolly, Crafty Mermaid Mom, sent me a birthday rack mail. It's a surprise mail, unexpected, super nice of her, and so generous for her to share all these crafty items, plus some goodies for my girls as well. Then, uh, we decided to do a swap. Uh, as I showed you, we did a traveler's notebook with a vintage theme. 
So here's one that she had sent to me. It's super beautiful. Uh, you might have seen me feature it in my Instagram account, showing how I use or how I've written in it or shown some of the things I've journalized in here. Look at this beautiful little notebook that was hidden in that pocket. I love this. And then it opens up. Super cute. Love it. So many pages to put pictures and pockets with all these hidden cute little notepads. I just love it. And the paper she used was so darling. Super cute. That cute little tag. And I love this pocket. She stitched that. And I love the way it's distressed at the end there. This was one of my favorite um, creative swaps as well. So these are the goodies she included. I, she made these wonderful tea bags if you want to see her tutorial. I don't know if it's still up on her channel, but these, this was like super, super fun. It was a great swap for both of us. So thank you, Dolly. This was super awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed my favorite crafty projects for 2019. I can't wait to share new content with you in the year to come, which is just in a few days. Again, wanted to say a big thank you to all of you that have been here with me since the beginning and to all my new subbies. Welcome. Look forward to seeing you all in the new year and wishing you all a happy, happy celebration as you greet 2020. Thanks again for watching Karamia's Corner. See you next time.